Welcome to Dreamy Morning, the podcast where we explore the best strategies for learning new languages. I'm your host, Sarah. Today, we're going to talk about effective ways to practice English. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, we've got some great tips for you. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about one of the most accessible methods, online courses and apps. There are numerous platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and Duolingo that offer structured courses for all levels. These courses cover everything from basic grammar to advanced conversation skills. They're perfect if you prefer a self-paced learning environment. Next, let's move on to language exchange apps. Apps like Tandem and HelloTalk connect you with native English speakers who are learning your native language. It's a win-win situation, you get to practice speaking English, and they get to practice your language. It's a fantastic way to engage in real conversations and improve your fluency. Another great way to practice is by watching movies, TV shows, and YouTube videos in English. This helps you get used to the natural rhythm and intonation of the language. Don't forget to use subtitles if you're just starting out. As you get more comfortable, try turning off the subtitles to challenge yourself. Reading is another powerful tool. Start with books or articles that match your current level and gradually move to more complex texts. You can find a wealth of material online, including news websites, blogs, and ebooks. Reading not only improves your vocabulary, but also helps with understanding sentence structure and grammar. If you're looking for interactive practice, consider joining English conversation clubs or language meetups in your area. These are often organized by local community centers or online groups. They provide a great opportunity to practice speaking in a friendly, supportive environment. For those of you who prefer personalized attention, hiring a tutor might be the way to go. A tutor can give you tailored feedback and help you focus on your specific weaknesses. There are many platforms where you can find qualified tutors, such as italki and preply. Don't forget about the power of writing. Keeping a journal in English can be a fun and effective way to practice. Write about your day, your thoughts, or even create short stories. It helps solidify what you've learned and improves your ability to express yourself in writing. And lastly, immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Surround yourself with English by listening to English music, following English-speaking social media accounts, and even thinking in English. The more you expose yourself to the language, the faster you'll improve. That's it for today's episode of Language Mastery. Remember, the key to mastering English, or any language, is consistent practice and exposure. Find methods that work best for you and stick with them. Thank you for tuning in, and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more language learning tips and tricks.